positive COVID tests, positivity rate percentages, and even more hospitalizations. COVID numbers are once again increasing across the Treasure Valley. But what do we make of these numbers, especially since health experts say some of these numbers are inaccurate? And that's because of at-home COVID tests are rarely reported. News Channel 7's Andrew Bartline checked in with Dr. Ted Epperly at Full Circle Health. Andrew, is he concerned about the numbers? He is, and it's because of what the numbers don't show. Dr. Epperly says several data points are lining up, and you match that with some relaxed attitudes on the spread of the virus. He fears this could enable another wave. The CDC moved Ada County's community transmission level to high, meaning the CDC recommends masks be worn indoors and in public. But you wouldn't know it if you check Central District Health for guidance. Central District Health should be stepping up as the voice in the community to caution people about these things. On May 20th, CDH voted to remove all masking guidance from their website. And today, the CDC says three out of four Central District Health counties should mask up because of high transmission levels. They should be a gateway to education, appropriate, professional, respectful education, and let the public then deal with the information. But they shouldn't choke it off before it gets to the public's awareness. Former CDH physician board member Dr. Ted Epperly is concerned with the lack of local guidance. That's because COVID cases are rising along with testing positivity rates and hospitalizations. But with the increasing popularity of at-home tests, Dr. Epperly says our ability to track transmission is hindered and reality is likely worse than what's documented. It's the floor, not the ceiling. Uh, it's still a data point that should be paid attention to. But Dr. Epperly is most interested in the wastewater data. City of Boise numbers also show a consistent upward trend since the beginning of May. I'm worried. I'm nervous about the fact that uh, we're sitting on top of a potential sixth surge. Idaho Department of Health and Welfare numbers show 55% of eligible Idahoans are fully vaccinated. That's below the national average of 71%. Because of this, Epperly says social behavior is one of the strongest tools to prevent spread. This is not a huge burden to put a mask on. It's a piece of cloth, no difference than, than the clothes we wear. While the CDC recommends we do wear a mask for the time being, Dr. Epperly understands many are not going to listen, but he encourages people to think of others before leaving the house. There are potential loved ones in their families that may be at more risk than they recognize. That's where I think we need to elevate the conversation. It's not about us as individuals, it's about others. Well, Central District Health is not offering any guidance on masking specifically. They do want people to be thoughtful about how they celebrate this upcoming holiday weekend. CDH encourages people to use those at-home tests before going out or gathering this weekend. It's uh, maybe perhaps a compromise for somebody who um, is against masking. Shira? Yeah, definitely not out of the woods yet. Good advice there. Thanks, Andrew.